What's up guys, Jins here, and today we're playing Snake the Reborn. I've played this before, um, as you can see I've got some weapons on here. The shotgun actually is the only one which I've bought, and hopefully this music isn't too loud. This is a remake of a really old Roblox game. So in case you uh, don't know what happens, so pretty much there's this snake and it comes out of a castle and then when you touch the crystal at the top, the snake comes out. Uh, yeah, only three people on this game right now. This isn't really a popular game. In fact, it's not popular at all. But, you know, I still play it some time, from time to time. You know, one thing I'll do I like is old Roblox, and I'm actually going to talk about that on the channel one. Old Roblox is the best period in Roblox, without a doubt. Um, so yeah, today, not only am I going to be playing Snake Killer Reborn, but I'm also just going to be talking about old Roblox in general. What was the golden age of Roblox? You know, usually, if it's something like Minecraft, the golden age would be, when is it most popular? And for something like that, of course you would say 2011. Yes, that is when Minecraft was most popular. Now, for something like Roblox, I think the golden age is just when it was the best. Not when it was necessarily the most popular, but when it was just the best. In Victory. Now, right now, Roblox is the most popular. Games are getting hundreds of thousands of players, millions of players, all over the site. People are making money off of games. You can get tons of revenue. But m most of Roblox, let's be honest, lots of Roblox now has just become a cash grab. Now, the reason I'm respawning is so that way I can get to the castle first. Okay, this is the first time I've actually got into the pillar. So what I think old Roblox was, was the period between, not, maybe not 2006, because literally no one played at the time, but I think it was the period between, um, what do you want to call it, I think it was the period between 2008 and 2014. Now, maybe 2016 could also be classified as old Roblox. If you said 2016 was old Roblox, I wouldn't argue with you. I mean, if you look at the Google Trends result, Roblox started blowing up in about 2017. 2016 was actually pretty good as well. That's when Tix was removed. And I think when Tix was removed, Roblox didn't die out. Its players started becoming popular, and I think that's because of all the new kids and YouTube started getting better. People were making tons of videos on Roblox. Now, Roblox appeals to little kids. You can tell because of things like Arthro. Um, the most popular games are things like Royal High, which, by the way, I hate. Yeah, and uh, I think old Roblox is good because of its simplicity. If you look at games now like Jailbreak, and I love Jailbreak, but if you go back to games like Prison Life, it's just simple. It's very simple. Prison Life is still popular. Things like Snake Pillar Reborn, um, Escape the Cave, games like that, they're really simple. Redwood Prison isn't an old game, but it's also just got that simplistic vibe to it. And I think simplicity is what made Roblox good. People weren't dressing up. People weren't, like, making, like, 
Roblox designer outfits. People weren't putting on, like, real-life clothes inside of Roblox. If they were, it was just so they could dress up. It wasn't to act cool. People weren't trying to act cool. People weren't role-playing. No voting was taking place. It was just, you got a Roblox account, and you would play their game. I think what classifies old Roblox is wearing things like eggs. Because an old Roblox skin wearing things like eggs. Making simplistic characters, like just dressing up as like a new... Just having your body be like different colors and stuff. Simple hats. Simple packages. Not things like... Dressing up with like Gucci Roblox shirts and stuff like that. I think simplistic Roblox was also good because people on it were simplistic. You didn't have role players, and you didn't have weaves, and you did not have odors. You just had players. And things like the building tools, the original dev kit, the voxel terrain, the original mesh parts, I think those helped to make Roblox iconic. And don't get me wrong, Roblox is still a great game. In fact, it's one of my favorites. But it's not like it used to be, and I know what you're going to say, Oh, what a complainer complainer about Roblox. Old Roblox was way better. No. Honestly, I really don't care. Uh, like, Roblox is fine as is, but when they did things like adding heart thrill and moving ticks, it's, it's going to get to a point where it's not really Roblox anymore. And now that things like Arthur is in the game, this isn't Roblox anymore. Kicks made Roblox, Voxel Terrain, um, original mesh parts, simplistic characters and simplistic games, the original catalog, Ticks, that's what made it Roblox. And all of this appealing to little kids, cash grab, and trying to get the most money now. This isn't Roblox. So yeah guys, that was a bit of a rant and playthrough of Snake Pillar Reward. Um, thoughts on Snake Filler Reborn? Well, it's got that simplistic vibe, and it really does remind me of old Roblox, so... Um, it's not the best, but, like, yeah, it's still actually good. It's really faithful to the original, and so I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Maybe a 9 out of 10, actually. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the game, so I guess for what it's trying to accomplish, it does perfectly well. 10 out of 10. So yeah guys, see you guys later.